Happy Monday. It's Dr. Lexi here with Elements of Wellness. This week I want to talk about nutrients and this week specifically I want to talk about fat soluble vitamins. I don't know if you're like me but in the 80s there was a big push for the low fat diet uh, which are very detrimental to our health. I followed a low fat diet um, for probably 20 years. 20 darn years. And so you may still be following that diet. You may think that fats are bad for us or fats are connected to heart disease, um, strokes, and, and all sorts of different things. And that could not be farthest from the truth. So fat is necessary in the, in the diet. But even more important than just the fat are the fat-soluble vitamins. And these would be vitamins like A, D, E, and K. So when I'm talking about fat-soluble vitamins, I'm talking about vitamins that are better absorbed and utilized in the body when consumed with fat. Now, our bodies are able to utilize some of the vitamins, even if there's not fat there. But for example, if you were to take a vitamin D, um, pill or supplement without fat, you're going to maybe, you know, intake or be able to utilize, you know, three to 10% of that vitamin versus if you took it with fat, you would get maybe 33 or 63% utilization. Um, so fat needs to go along with these fat soluble vitamins for better absorption and utilization within the body. So if you're taking a lot of supplements, but you're not taking them with foods that will increase absorption, you're not really getting all the benefit that you should out of these vitamins. Um, so if you have a disorder that really limits how well your body absorbs fat, and this could be things like cystic fibrosis, um, liver or pancreatic disorders, Maybe your gallbladder has been removed or you have gallstones. Maybe you have SIBO or some disorders of the small intestine. Uh, those will all impact how well your body absorbs the um, vitamins A, D, E, and K. So these are things that we want to consider. And so I had created a poll in the Facebook group to see if anyone was struggling with these. Other disorders might be celiac disease or Crohn's. So again, if you're having a lot of digestive issues, maybe if your bowel movements or your fecal matter when you excrete is floating on top of the water, that is a sign that you are not absorbing the fat quite as well as you should. So even if you're eating the way you should, but things are flushing out because of any disorders that you may have, that needs to be addressed so that you can have the right nutrients to really help your body work effectively. All of these vitamins are also intricately involved in tinnitus. So a lack thereof or even toxicity levels can cause tinnitus. So each day this week, we're going to go into uh, a little bit more in depth into each of the vitamins. So we'll start tomorrow with vitamin A. So if you have questions about vitamin A or any disorders that are involved in um, the lack of absorption of, of fat, let me know and I'll be happy to answer that for you. Uh, I look forward to chatting with you. So tomorrow will be vitamin A. Tuesday, <clears throat> excuse me, tomorrow is Tuesday. Wednesday will be vitamin D. Thursday will be E and Friday will be K. So I'm looking forward to delving into this with each of you. Bye.